Vincent Chase reprises his legendary role of Aquaman in an unusual sequel to the Conjuring series. This particular documentary has Ed Warren helping Aquaman exorcise his arch nemesis, Ray Manta who has been possessed with Pazuzu from The Exorcist. The now possessed Manta must enact his evil plan and get a bunch of oracolcum and throw it in a furnace to speed up global warming. Lorraine Warren had unfortunately been possessed and needed to go to church for a while, leaving Ed alone with his brother Aquaman. Along with Pazuzu, Manta Ray is haunted by his imaginary friend Virgil who calmly great powers and in return attempts to guide Manta down the nine circles of the Mariana Trench. Piloting the Cyclops, Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems Manta and his friends go on the search for more vibranium. The movie takes a bit of a strange turn, after Manta breaks into Ed's house and steals his beloved Annabelle doll, and attempts to transfer his consciousness into it. Ed Warren has slightly bigger fish to fry, when he inevitably becomes possessed. The rest of the gang decide that it would be better if Ed had all the souls trapped in his body, rather than getting a priest all the way out to Antarctica, so they threw him in a mental asylum where he could never pose assess anyone again. In the end, everyone lives happily ever after. Warning, creature attack. Warning, engine, overheat. Total, how failure Five, four, three, two. An apparent implosion killing all five people on board. We're now getting a look at how that implosion happened. Ashley Rodriguez with our Fox 5. Abandon ship. Aquaman does a stand-up comedy routine at the end of the movie, but Noon is impressed. I talk to fish, but I don't care. You know why? That makes me a joke. Like and subscribe for more movie reviews, or comment below if you want me to cover something specific.